why can't we go faster than light? Because it makes space travel a little bit inconvenient. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's a real shame because I, I don't know. I grew up on Star Trek, and yeah, I, I think when I was a kid, I sort of thought of Star Trek as being like a documentary about the future, and uh, and so I figured, oh, okay, there must be a way to go faster than light. And then when I learned more physics, I got pretty unhappy. <laughs> I've had this experience. <laughs> to be fair, though, I really, really like the theory that this comes out of, the theory of relativity from Einstein. If you try to get to the speed of light, you're changing speeds requires force. This is something that Newton pointed out. Uh, Isaac Newton, you know, hundreds of years ago, he said that, you know, an object in motion will stay in motion and an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. So, the, you know, an outside force with some source of energy is required to change your speed. And if you want to change your speed a lot, you need more force. And one of the things that relativity says is that if you want to get close to the speed of light, it requires a lot more energy. And in fact, as you approach the speed of light, it requires more and more and more energy. And to get to the speed of light from any speed lower than the speed of light, with any mass more than zero, it requires an infinite amount of energy to get to the speed of light. And of course, if you want to go faster than light, first you have to go as fast as light. Yes, and so we don't have enough energy to go that fast. It's impossible to have enough energy to go that fast. That's disappointing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but can anything, like, we can't go faster than light, but can, like, anything else? Well, so light can go as fast as light, but to go faster than light, relativity says that, yeah, if you're already going faster than light, then you can go faster than light. You can stay in that area. And you can't, it's, it's the same sort of thing. It's doomed to be stuck there. If you're going faster than light, you can't go slower than light. It would take an infinite amount of energy to take something going faster than light and slow it down. In fact, the, the slower you make it go, the more energy it takes, which is really weird. So if you, if, so, so something going faster than light, it's sort of uh, low energy state is going instantaneously fast, going infinitely fast from from anywhere to anywhere. And it takes the the slower you want it to go, the the more energy you have to pump in. And it would take an infinite amount of energy to get it down to the speed of light. This is already a reason to think that it would be really hard to have something that can go faster than light because the thing is an object going faster than light, will give off radiation. It's like a sonic boom. If you're if you're going faster than the speed of sound, you give off a sonic boom. The same thing will happen if you're going faster than light. You will have like a visual boom. The thing is, something going faster than light will lose energy. And then as it loses energy, it'll go faster. So it'll give off more energy. And, and so you get this like infinite loop of massive amounts of radiation being given off by any object going faster than the speed of light. And so this would cause all kinds of problems and strongly suggests that, that an object going faster than the speed of light is impossible. If you could send signals going faster than the speed of light, then you could send information going back in time. You could use a device that sends information faster than light uh, to construct, and I, I love this name, an object going faster than the speed of light is called a tachyon. Tachy meaning Greek for fast. You could use that to construct something called a tachyonic anti-telephone. Right. <laughs> and the tachyonic anti-telephone lets you call yourself in the past. So that's like it lets you send in signals time. into the past. Yeah. So it's tantamount to going back in time. You could send information back in time like Marty McFly. You could send betting results back in time and, and then you could become super wealthy and then you'd be, you know, Biff Tannen and... But the crucial thing is we can't go faster than light so we can't go back in time that way. You can have a thing that the... Depending on how you define thing, you could have something go faster than light. If you had a really powerful flashlight or like a laser or something like that and you shown it as something like the moon and it were somehow bright enough to really light up the moon and you were foolish enough to put your hand in front of that powerful laser and make shadow puppets then you know with a flick of your wrist you could send those shadow puppets speeding across the surface of the moon faster than the speed of light 
those shadow puppets aren't really things. You, you can't use them to send information from one side of the moon to the other. You could use them to send information from Earth, but that's going to travel at the speed of light. And and it's not. It doesn't have a mass. It's not really a thing. Very disappointing. Yeah. If we can't go faster than light, what's the limit? Well, theoretically, there's no reason why you can't go as close as you like to the speed of light. I mean, you don't want to accelerate too fast, right? Because mm -hmm. that'll hurt. Mm -hmm. Putting that aside, there's no theoretical limit on how close you can get to the speed of light. Uh, you know, you'll have to deal with some nasty radiation and stuff like that, but you could get there. And actually, going back to Star Trek, the cool thing is that if you can get up real close to the speed of light, then you could travel anywhere you want in the universe within one human lifetime if you go real fast because of this time dilation effect that happens when you get close to the speed of light. It's just that when you come home, billions of years will have passed for everyone who wasn't on your ship. 